Okay, here's my COVID inspired still life and I'm gonna use this to show you how to do hatching in pencil. So I'm starting out with my gesture drawing and then using organizational lines and measuring and negative space and angles and all those things we covered to figure out the proportions. And the next step is going to be creating a range of values. I've already worked with a 2H pencil, so I'm just continuing with that and creating some of the lighter values in the drawing. So it may seem like I'm sort of coloring this in, but really what I'm doing is adding a series of lines, parallel lines next to each other. Um, and if you look closely, you can see them. So it's not just colored in, it's lines creating value. So anything that needs to stay a value of one on our scale of one to 10, I'm gonna leave that blank, that's just the paper. And then I can make the two and the three using this 2H pencil. Notice that I added glassine under my hand. That's just to prevent smudging. If you don't have glassine, you can use any sheet of paper. It's better than running your hand against your drawing. So if you have a full range of pencils, like a whole set, um, then feel free to use all of them. You can really get some nuances if you switch from one pencil to another. If you only bought the three pencils required for class, you can still get a lot done with those. You might have to vary the pressure a little bit. You'll notice that I'm moving in different directions throughout this drawing. So if a surface is vertical, like that back wall, or the surfaces of these bottles, then I'm moving vertically. On this gallon jug of vinegar, um, on the top portion, I'm actually moving in a curved motion, and that is because the surface of the jug itself is curved. So once I completed everything with the 2H pencil, I'm switching to the 2B. And I'm using this for some of those medium values. So this would be in the range of 4 through 6, somewhere around there. So I'm trying not to vary the pressure of the pencil so much and use different grade pencils to create different values. And now I've switched to an ebony pencil, so I'm adding all of the dark values now. I know I skipped over a lot of stuff here, but if you want to see footage of me working on any of these areas and you're curious how I completed them, there is another video that's two hours long and you can scroll through and find a specific spot that you might be interested in.